Hey everyone, it's Alexis Wallstrom here. So, the disposition of learners is a concept that all educators should reflect upon themselves. The dispositions are a set of values to uphold a happy, healthy classroom. One of the dispositions that I feel like I'm pretty good at incrementing in my daily life is reflection. It's something that I'm trying to add more into my work life as becoming a teacher can be stressful and overwhelming at some times and your days aren't always going to go as you thought they would. So being able to have time to have quiet reflection and see where you succeeded, where you need some extra work and where you're gonna to be tomorrow can really help balance out your day. A disposition that I wanna work on is respect for diversity for others. It's not for the lack of compassion about diverse cultures and lifestyles. I show respect to every culture for my students and colleagues to the best of my abilities. But I don't have knowledge on every culture out there and different heritages and cultures have different ways of doing things and thinking. In such a diverse world, I'm constantly trying to educate myself on different heritages and cultures. And as a teacher, I love to implement an about me so I can get to know my students and who they are and what they believe in. So that way we can have a happy, healthy environment in our classroom. While these dispositions are guidelines for teachers, we must take the opportunity above ourselves to educate where we're uncomfortable and grow so that way we can make a well-rounded classroom. With the dispositions like diversity, adversity, and fairness, we are trying to create a self-environment for our students and for ourselves. And by achieving this, we're gonna create stronger bonds with our students. And when you have stronger bonds with your students, you're gonna have a happier classroom. If your students are succeeding and they're prosperous in their everyday life, then your parents are gonna be happy, your administrators are gonna be happy, and the balance is going to be equal across the board. From there, you're always gonna receive feedback, whether it be from your students, from other teachers, from your peers, and especially from your administrators in your yearly evaluations. I have never thought of feedback as something that was truly bad. Feedback is something that I imagine is something to grow from and that you can prove that you know what you're doing. So if you excel somewhere, you did great. If you have somewhere that you didn't excel, that just means you have room to grow. And I feel like everyone, including students and teachers, needs to accept feedback in a positive manner. When receiving feedback, I like to ask questions to make sure that I clarify where I need to grow, where I need help, and what I can do personally to make sure I'm meeting those values for the people that have set them forth. If I notice that I'm falling behind in an area of evaluation and I'm not meeting one of the dispositions or one of my school's values, I'm gonna to work to rectify the situation for the benefit of myself and for the benefit of my class, most importantly. I feel like an evaluation is the best way to give feedback and to truly understand what's expected of you and how you need to go about achieving those things. And when you continue to check in with your supervisors and make sure you're getting good feedback, you're making sure that you grow and that you are keeping the classroom to the standard of the school, of your district, and personally for yourself. The dispositions, like I said, are set in place to make sure that we as teachers hold our values true to ourselves and to our classroom. Because teaching, I mean, it can get hard and there's a lot that goes into it. So making sure that we have somewhere that we can reflect back on and making sure that we have something that we can be like, oh, I'm doing this or, oh, I need to work here. We'll make sure that we as teachers keep our classrooms happy, healthy and safe for all of our students. Thank you so much. Bye.